Hello, week three, vlogging about my little candle business until I make it and become financially free. So, it is currently six in the morning. <laughs> I stupidly agreed to do personal training at seven, so I've got to get out and take the dog for a walk. But I'm not mad about it because it is a lovely, glorious, sunny morning. It's nice and fresh. Good to be out. I'm hoping I'll have a good, productive day by being up early and carry on with that momentum. On a slight side note, away from candles, I did a strongman competition last week, which I really enjoyed. Haven't really done much training leading up to it due to everything happening in my life, but I did it nonetheless. So I signed up for a new one on the 20th of July with the hopes and the plans to train for it and actually do well. So yeah, anyway, let's go on with the day. It's like Jurassic Park out here. The rain has just made everything go crazy. <sighs> Up nice and early, dog walk, gym, back. Had a little sit down for half an hour. Little bit tired, but motivation is high. I've got a whole day ahead of me now, so it's 10 to 10. I've got a lot of stuff I wanna do. So I'm gonna make a load of candles. I'm gonna package a load of candles. I've got some Shopify orders to fulfill. I've got my re-diffusers that I need to finish making and take photos of. Then I need to update some content on Amazon. So yeah, things are, things are looking good. I'm feeling positive. I feel motivated. I haven't sold a lot yet, but I am quietly optimistic that I'm going in the right direction. So I'm just going to hit everything with as much momentum, gusto, gumption, all of those words, and just crack the fuck on, basically. Chuck it all into Amazon, promote the shit out of it, and go from there. That is kind of my plan. I'm fairly confident this will work, so it's time to just go all in on everything. But with some of my leftover stock, I've got whether we can see that. I've got these peppermint candles. So I've got some leftover peppermint oil essential, I've got some leftover wax, so I thought I'll just use these. I've got these lovely little jars and I couldn't really have a use for them, so We've got those on the go, so I've got 10 of them. And then just some other bits. I'm gonna keep cracking on with my coffee ones. I went out of stock for a while, but I'm selling about 30 of those a month. So I've got leftover coffee oil and some bits. So I'm just gonna try and sell what I've got and see how it goes. If they work well, I'll just keep doing more of it. If I could build that up to 30, 50 sales a month and it's easy and cheap, I'll, I'll just keep doing it. So some of the bits I'm just gonna see how it goes whilst trying to push forward my new brand idea. But there's no reason why I can't have a few standalone products on Amazon just selling as they are. So let's crack on. So much like my chefing job, I'm gonna begin with the tasks that are gonna take the longest and things that are gonna set. So I'm gonna start with the candle making. So I'm gonna get a load of that done. I need to move a load of stuff, wick a load of jars and get on with the candle tins. At the moment, like I said, like I said, like I said, <laughs> I've got just the bare minimum of stuff going to Amazon. So I'm just trying to get like 20 or 30 of everything into Amazon and then I'm just gonna see what takes off and then double down on that, whistle out the ones which aren't doing so well and then just do that as a thing. So candle making first and then we'll get into the re-diffusers and then we'll get back into labeling and then we'll get back into the packaging. So I reckon if I can get a good five or six hours of work done solidly, chop the phone away and just focus, that's the plan. Slightly distracted, having a bit of a tidy up. I've just got stuff everywhere. I need to get ruthless and bin it. Mm. Now what I'm starting to do is just enjoy each process. Like the wicking I used to find quite boring. It's quite nice just to zone out and do a monotonous task and not really think about it. It's almost like a bit of a mini meditation. And in the kitchen when I'm chefing, there's a few tasks that are a bit like this. Cutting chips, vegetable prep. The only ones I really don't like doing, peeling. Especially peeling potatoes. There's something about peeling potatoes that just, nah. Drives me insane. 
But this is quite nice. This is peaceful. I quite like it. I'm quite excited with all of my products so far. Candle making isn't really something I thought I'd get into. I started off doing Amazon FBA in the beginning, so buying and selling stuff, things like Lego or all sorts. I was selling all sorts of toys, some groceries, like different sea salts. I was just selling whatever I could. It's, got, it's quite a good method to it. I'm trying to buy stuff on offer, sell it on Amazon, make a profit. It's quite, quite clever. It's just not sustainable. You're constantly looking for the next offer. So when I had the idea to make candles, because I thought it would just be so easy, I thought I'd just make some candles, flip it, make a big profit. And then the more I got into it, the more I've sort of enjoyed it and enjoyed learning something new in the process. And now I'm actually really quite happy with the products I make, like everything I make, I'm really, really proud of. I really enjoy it. I'm quite like the smells of each different one. And it spends like, it takes me quite a long time to be happy with the product. I go through a lot of different scents, a lot of different trying, lots of money trying wax and wicks to make something that I'm really happy with. And each scent I've got, I actually really like. Each one's got a little story behind it. Each one I enjoy making and smelling as a candle. So I think with all the business models and everything else I've tried in the past, I haven't really cared about what I was doing. So I've tried micro niche websites before. I had a website on patio slabs. So the idea is that you rank on Google for that term. People click on the AdSense links and you get paid a little percentage of it. I made a bit of money doing it, but I just, who has any interest in patio slabs? You know what I mean? And I've tried other things before, like buying and selling stuff and SEO and I just don't care about any of it. Whereas actually creating your own product like this and spending the time crafting it and getting into candle making and the smells and the scents and the packaging and I love creating the artwork and the labels. Like I enjoy every aspect, some more than others, but I think it's a good creative outlet for me. Uh, I can also turn into a business. And it's me, it means I've learned a lot of skills along the way. Like I think as humans, if we're not adapting, evolving, learning and creating, we're kind of stagnating. So I think the most depressed I've been is when I'm not doing anything, when I'm sort of sitting around watching Netflix, drinking beer and just consuming when I'm creating and learning and engaging and developing and doing things with a bit of a purpose and a bit of a mission is when I feel content, like I'm actually doing something. I've got something to do. So I think society, life, it's easy now. We are sort of the products, aren't we? Like you can get your Uber Eats whilst you sit and watch Netflix. You don't have to do anything. Everything's there. It's easy. It's like wall -E, isn't it? When we're just going to be floating around those little pods just everything's going to be delivered to us. But anyway, I think what I was trying to say is you need to love and enjoy what you're doing in order to make it work. You need to take pride in it and do it. I think that's why every other business model I've tried has failed because I just didn't really care about it. All I wanted to do was make some money. I think when that is your goal in mind, it's never going to work. It does work for some people. Some people get lucky. Some people manage to do something right. But for me, it's never worked. I and mean, I've never really seen it out as a project. I'd rather, or maybe not rather, I have to do something that I enjoy and that I love and that I can wake up every day and get excited about. Otherwise, I just won't do it. I don't think I can force myself to do things like writing, like I've had ideas of trying to learn how to be a copywriter. I just, the, the thought of it is mind numbing. There's loads of money to be made, but could I see myself doing that forever? Probably not. 
Uh, however, I could see myself doing this forever and creating a brand and different products like it. So I think doing something like this, the skills you learn, becoming a jack of all trades and learning how to make labels and make candles and create listings and websites and advertising. It's a good basis for anything you want to do later on. Almost done with the wicking now. Gonna make a load of different candles. Top of the candles I've got with the power from wax, it's like a double pour, which doesn't really bother me. I thought it would be a bit annoying, but these are so quick and easy to make. I don't need to worry about temperatures so much. The paraffin wax is quite forgiving. It's a paraffin um, vegetable wax soy blend is what I'm using. <coughs> then I'm gonna make some coffee candles in my normal jars. Maybe try and make 20 or 30 of them. And then we'll get those sent out next week. Wicking, done. So the first load of candles I'm gonna make, uh, Naga Champa. Oh. Is that it? Naga Champa, Naga Champa. Basically the smell of incense, it's like sandalwood, frankincense. It smells really, really good. I really like it. it. Makes a really good candle and a reed diffuser actually. Oh shit, things have fallen. how many candles I've made but yeah time for lunch <laughs> let's have a look so got all these here all of them all of these boys and if we go over here <laughs> those as well so let me just have a quick count and then we'll see a bit delirious and with the internet it's, it's unreasonable for me to not be able to make it I think sticking at it slowly getting better over time I increase my percentages of actually doing the thing and making it it feels unreasonable that I won't be able to do it given the skills I'm learning the work I'm putting in and I think creating my own market place I've been reading a book um, Blue Ocean Strategy it's quite interesting whether some of you guys have read it or not but the basic premise is uh, instead of trying to compete in a red ocean where you're trying to sort of get a bit of the pie everyone else has got like you've got say for instance like candles there's so many people doing the same kind of candles what are you going to do that's different to make you stand out you create your own marketplace I think liquid death in America or it's even come over here it's got that sparkly water and they've, it's got skulls on it flaming skulls and it's all like rock and roll and it's all got that kind of metal vibe to it and it stands out something like sparkly water you wouldn't think would work so you think of sparkly water as something a bit plain but it's doing stuff like that Cirque du Soleil reinvented like the circus the circus industry charging more creating stories acrobatics and just adding everything to it and reducing costs at the same time getting rid of the animals getting rid of those kind of things and creating their own unique place in the marketplace so it's it's about doing that rather than trying to copy other people and take a slice of what everyone else is doing it's about creating your own space so competition doesn't really matter because you're doing something so different and I think that's kind of where I'm at now in this 
journey of mine. This strange little thing I've started. I think that's where it is. It's trying to create my own space. So I'm not copying other people. It doesn't really matter what other people are doing because I'm doing my own thing and it's so unique and people like it so much and it stands out that it'll just do its own thing by itself. So ultimately, it's about crafting a life I enjoy. It's not to say I don't enjoy life at the moment. There are different chapters and different seasons we all must go through. And I think I'm in that grinding it out season where I'm sort of in debt now to myself, time and money, but that will pay dividends in the future. It will buy me my freedom, essentially. But I can gladiator, <laughs> or <laughs> maybe not extreme. Yeah, I, I will liken myself to Russell Crowe in Gladiator. I've done it, I've said it, it's out there. But I want to be able to buy a nice house. I don't need to worry about bills. I want to be able to have a sauna, a gym. I want to wake up, go for a dog walk, do some training. I don't have to worry about getting it all done and then going to work and then doing a 12 hour day and feeling knackered. I want to be able to create the perfect day. Go traveling with my partner and head the dogs to the Peak District and go for walks and glamping, camping, wild camping. Just, not to say I can't do this already, it is entirely possible, but it is within its own rules. Booking holiday, saving the money to do it, factoring it all in. I've always felt like this, I felt like there's always more to life. Not that I'm special, but I've always felt like I've got something about me that will create enough value to be able to work for myself and do my thing. I think that's kind of ultimately what my, my dad always did. Maybe not in the most sensible way, because he was very stubborn and maybe um, a bit hot-headed. <laughs> he always wanted to sort of live life on his own terms and by his own rules. He was always self-employed, possibly because he couldn't work with other people, but kind of just did things the way he wanted wanted to live a peaceful life, do some gardening, do some fishing, just not being told what to do. I think that's the thing, I don't want to follow down the path that is laid out for all of us. Go to school, go to college, go to uni, get a husband, get a wife, buy a house, work until you retire at 70, and then try and live out your life on whatever you've saved and whatever pension you've got. And I think all of that is becoming increasingly difficult as time has become harder. The wealth divide between the rich, the middle class and the poor is just mental. And the only way I see out of it is to get rich, to buy myself that freedom, to be able to craft a life sort of worth living. A life where I don't feel like I need to go on holiday every six months because each day is fulfillment, it's enjoyment. And I can give back, I can maybe do some teaching classes for free teach people how to cook. Jamie Oliver style, I don't know. There's um, my partner, she's a teacher and I help teach some kids how to cook. So there's maybe stuff I could do with that. There's a lot of like people lacking food knowledge and how to cook and it's just easier to get ready meals. If there's something I can do to give back, help people, maybe even help people on YouTube. <laughs> just feel like there's more to it. And it's a bit like, I can't save everyone else until I've saved myself, like in a lifeboat situation, you know? Sort yourself out first, become financially stable, and then try and give back. That's kind of the ultimate goal. But we've gone a bit deep, we've gone too far into the depths of Jason's um, musings. I think maybe I'm a bit tired, maybe I'm a bit delusional, maybe I'm, <laughs> I don't know. These are the things I don't talk about with other people because I'm doing something abnormal. And when people do things abnormally, people go, ah, oh, what, the, what the, what's he doing? That's a bit weird. We don't like that. So there we are. We'll resume the normal program. Go back to the candle making soon. It's nice to get out and express myself. Right then, it is 10 o'clock at night. I've been non-stop all day. I've made dinner, haven't really tidied as much as I was hoping to do. Everything is in a flux of um, chaos. 
but that is part and parcel of how I operate and I can't possibly achieve everything even if I think I can. So all I've got left to do is do my CLP levels. I'll show you everything I've done so far. Just because I'm like a small child, I need to show you my achievements. <laughs> Look at everything I've done. Yeah, one Amazon box to package, three Shopify orders to do. I want to get at least a couple of incense packed with the Amazon just so they're in Amazon and getting integrated to the system. And then they can start ranking for keywords and stuff. It takes weeks and months for Amazon to start showing up organically. So if I can get that ball rolling, sweet. And the good news is, the good news, I've sold one tin of incense today without any promotion, just organically selling it. So either people have found it or they've searched for my brand or something. So that's promising. Same with the candles. I've sold maybe 10, 12 of them without any promotion or any really, yeah, anything like that. So if I can sell one or two of them, without any promotion, I think I'm on to a winner. Whereas to sell my first candle took months. So obviously I've got a bit of a brand and a bit of a following now, which does help, but Amazon I find is a different kettle of fish. So yeah, I think, I think I'm optimistic. So yeah, this, this could, could be the turning point in my little business, I think. Yeah, I truly, truly believe that. So once I, get everything stocked up and really push the advertising. I think we're, we're going to be flying. It's just getting it stocked up at the minute. It just feels like I'm just, yeah, helpful leather, balls to the wall, pushing it all out, getting it all done, just so it's all in Amazon ready. And yeah, I'm getting there, making progress. So I think I'll leave it, leave it for there because this is absolute sludge at the minute. I'll show you, actually I'll show you what I've been up to. Um, so, yeah, I've got all these insects in here, 40 of them. Oh, hang on, let's bear with. And I've got these ones I've been working on as well, which are oud and cool little glasses. And then down here, got all these tins. Glass jars, tins, coffee ones I made earlier, which is annoying because I've got focus, focus camera. Oh, come on, mate. Well, which is annoying because I've got frosting, so it's not focusing, which is also annoying. Frosting, so I don't really have a color candles. I don't know if frosting is because I've put color in them. Oh, there we go, we're focused. Yeah, I don't know if they're frosted because I've put color in them or not, but they look cool. And what I normally do is I put these little wax mounts on top. So it looks like a coffee. I think it looked better before when they were white, because then you've got the contrast with the, the wax melt. So I think I've done a boo-boo, but they, they still smell nice and look nice, unless I do some white coffee beans, but that's just gonna look weird. Yeah, haven't quite worked out what I'll do with them, but you know, they're all done. And we've got all these we've made, all these we've made, so. Not bad for a day's work. I feel like I've been a busy, busy boy. Weirdly enough, I always feel like I can do a little bit more, but I've still not been sleeping great. I've been sleeping better, but with everything that's been happening in the past couple of months, yeah. It's only now that I feel like, like I said in the other video, a bit of my spark is back. A bit of mojo, a bit of life, a bit of, motivation so yeah all right we'll leave it there thank you for watching i feel like this video has been a roller coaster of my mind <laughs> so enjoy give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you want to keep watching a english man talking about the candle business and what happens in here
entrepreneurship, have freedom, and living life on your own terms. Peace out. Not quite sure at what point I'll slip this bit in, but I didn't get everything done in the end. Just too tired, it's now half 11. I've just done the Shopify orders, that took long enough, plus doing the CLP, and I missed a few CLP labels and a few other bits. Brain's not working, so we, we did as much as possible. I did. I don't know why it's been like Gollum sometimes, like a split personality. Wee! Um, so yeah, just in case people think I managed to get a mammoth amount of stuff done, I have called it quits. I figure it's better for me just to go to bed rather than push it. Realistically, I'm going to send the Amazon parcel tomorrow. It's not going to get there any quicker. I can do it on Monday. It's, it's going to be a day or two in it, so we'll just leave it. Let it, let it be. The work is done. It's not going to take me long to box it when I'm fresh. So, yeah, I haven't quite achieved everything, but we've done a lot today. So, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye again. <laughs>